Hey everybody, Kenny here. Just want to give you a little update on what I'm doing and also give you a little bit of a preview of the new bivy pack I've been working on, which is uh, just for myself, but it's pretty cool. So I thought I'd show you how that works. Uh, but yeah, I'm here in Mississippi. This is where I was when everything started shutting down. Uh, my original idea was to, you know, go on a whole book tour. Uh, six pack of hitchhiking stories to book I wrote, which you can still get on Amazon if you want either the ebook or the paperback. Obviously, just get on Amazon and search for my name, Kenny Flannery, and you'll see a six pack of hitchhiking stories pop up. But I was gonna go on a brewery book tour for that through uh, from here to Mississippi through North Carolina to New York, but yeah, everything's shutting down, so breweries aren't open and people aren't really in the mood to go shake hands and share a beer unfortunately. So, been stuck here, making the best of it, making uh, my backpack. So I'm going to show you a little bit of that. Uh, also, you can subscribe to this channel, of course, you know that. But uh, Freestyle Travel Show is my podcast, and that I update a little more regularly. I actually have an episode uh, rendering right here that I'm about to upload. But uh, Freestyle Travel Show, if you don't know about that already, I'm about this is about to be episode 55, so I've been doing it for a while. And yeah, it's just a lot easier easier than videos, so I get more of those up. So yeah, Freestyle Travel Show, Apple Podcasts, Google Music, anywhere podcasts are found. Look it up. Uh, this is my new baby. It's turning out good. Tried some new materials. Some tried and true materials. And just trying some stuff out. So I haven't completely finished it yet. I need to finish some seams, seal some seams, but I just wanted to give you a little preview, and then maybe I'll give you like a full-on once it's uh, totally done. But yeah, this is it. Smaller than uh, the main backpack. You can still go to freestyletravelgear.com. Maybe you've seen that green bad boy. Uh, that design is tried and true. Still making some of those while I'm here. This is much different, much smaller. While the main backpack that's for sale is like 40 liters, this one is 20-25. Like I said, it's just for me. I don't know how many other people would want it, like it, but uh, some of the things I did, I worked on how the uh, bivy itself comes out, which is totally different. So it comes out of the back here, uh, which I'll sh kind of show you in a second. And then the straps, I'm trying this, the straps I actually made, so they're pockets, and I put my socks in here. So it saves weight on the straps, and it makes it so I'm just utilizing my existing sock. You can see, just my sock in there which is way more cushiony than any, anything else I could use, actually, so... I'm pretty stoked about that. I could even, like, tuck a little, uh, I don't know, some cash or debit card or something in here. I don't know how well hidden it would be. People could probably see that this is a pocket, but... Eh. I'll play around with it. Uh, using some nice buckles that i gotten samples of. I like these buckles. But yeah, it's just a roll-top closure. So this is actually one inch uh, in length, um, less than the last custom backpack I made for myself, but I made this a few inches more, so if I got a ton of food, I can, like, really pack it out, but when I don't have much in here, I can, you know, make it go down quite a bit, make it seem pretty small, and besides the backpack, I made my own jacket to go along with the bivy. And I'll show you how the bivy pops out a little bit here in a second. But this jacket, man, is it like, whoo! This is awesome. So this is the jacket. Totally smalled out. Let me put this bag down for a second. And yeah, so the jacket works as the fly of the bivy to uh, keep me dry fully. And I can either wear the jacket full length. There you go. Chuck it. I'll even throw it on for you. I don't know. So, still got to finish a couple things on here, but it's good enough to sort of show off. So, yeah. Really, really light. Uh, it's fully waterproof. It's not a waterproof breathable material, but so far it's been breathing pretty good, just naturally. This move. So I can wear it kind of waist up there. Or I can uh, unbutton it here. 
and let it drape all the way down to a trench coat mode. I think you can kind of see that. A little bit. Yeah, so I can go both ways with that. And then it's to fly to the bivy as well. And with those buttons, I can, uh, I made my own custom uh, sleeping bag a while back, and I can button it to the inside and have it be like a liner and be like a badass puffy coat. So I'm really excited about this. It's less than half the weight of my last jacket. It's about 2.7 ounces or something. I forget when I put it on the scale. It's two ounces and change, so it weighs next to nothing. And yeah, it packs up real small because of this like really good silk nylon I got. State of the art, as it were. It's a little nervous using this material. It's not, not the cheapest stuff in the world, but Whew. freaking awesome. So yeah, this is the new pack. And just to show you how it turns into a Vivi without breaking fully out, I will do a more in-depth video. It all comes out from the back here. So this is a brand new design. Too. I've made like 20 bivy packs maybe different designs and they've all worked slightly different I'm just always trying different stuff this one is this move bang <laughs> uh, the whole bivy comes out like I said I'm not gonna get too in depth here just want to show you how it works out so With this one, this will go on the ground, and this will all stand out. This will be where my be where my head is, and then my feet go down out that way. And I can still kind of reach into the bag with this pain in the ass pocket sort of thing that I made. I can reach in, and uh, but yeah, most of the stuff in the bag I'll be using. Sleeping bag, uh, clothes is my pillow. That's actually my my pad there that I'll be laying on. So. Yeah, it's pretty cool, and you saw how quick that was too. That's what I was really going for, is quick from backpack to bivy. So. Pretty sweet. This is what I've been working on. Waterproof breathable material, DCF for the floor. Um, this is uh, kind of like a sleeping bag material here. Really light and breathable, but mosquitoes can't poke through. So if it is like touching my shoulder, this is usually where my shoulder will be. Um, mosquitoes can't bite through and whereas this won't be on me at all and I can breathe and see real well so it worked out great man uh, all together I got, I'll have to put it on the scale again but I think it's like 12 ounces for the backpack I know it was like 15 ounces or less for the jacket and the frame and the bag and everything so way less than a pound I got my backpack my jacket um, my multi-purpose jacket all that. So this is what I've been working on. I'm calling it the pandemic pack for now because why not? I'm loving it. This new pocket material I'm using is actually stronger than it looks. I'm stoked, man. I'm really stoked. I just can't wait to actually get the hell out of here and uh, use this sucker. For reals. I got kicked off the beach today. Just walking on the beach. I walked to the beach, sat down, put my, sand, my feet in the sand. And a cop with a mask walk up to me and told me I couldn't be on the beach. Governor's orders. I'm like, even though I'm by myself, it doesn't matter. People are losing their shit these days. I'm over it. I'm over it. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I'm uh, utilizing this time. Kind of locked in to do cool stuff. So that's it for now. Uh, I'll try to get a more in-depth video on the bivy new baby pack once it's totally done just so you can watch it deploy and all that it's pretty cool and yeah check out the podcast freestyle travel show uh you can go to freestyle travel show.com or just yeah look up freestyle travel show on your podcast jammer all right you guys enjoy your time wherever you are locked down or helping people saving the world isolating yourself whatever you're doing i'm sure you're having a good time all right laters